In the last video we saw that solids are incompressible and rigid. They've got a fixed volume and shape. Liquids are incompressible but fluid. They've got a fixed volume but a changeable shape. And gases are compressible as well as fluid. They've got a changeable shape as well as a changeable volume. Maybe we can understand why substances have different states if we zoom in to see what their molecules are doing. We'll start with solid ice, and we need to magnify it a billion times. Each green rectangle is a hundredth of the size of the one before it, so four zooms will magnify ice enough to see its molecules. The red atoms are oxygen and the white atoms are hydrogen. So what's the formula of these molecules? H2O. You knew that. Notice how they're close together. That's why ice has a fixed volume and can't be compressed. The molecules are about as close as they can get. And they're stuck in one place. They're still moving, but they're moving slowly backwards and forwards around the same point. This is called vibration, and it keeps the molecules next to their neighbours. It means that the overall shape is fixed, so ice is rigid. It keeps its shape. Can you see that there is a fixed pattern in ice? Six water molecules form a hexagon, which form the sides of another hexagon, and so on. This pattern goes all through the 3D ice structure. It's beautiful. Now we'll zoom out again, and then zoom into the liquid water. Oops, there goes an anthrax bacterium, and there's a flu virus. They must be lost. Wow, there's so many, and they're really close together. No wonder water has a fixed volume and can't be squashed. That's why it's incompressible like ice. Let's get a bit closer. Hey, the molecules are the same. They're still H2O. Melting ice into water doesn't break any bonds or form new ones. So solid ice and liquid water are just different states of the same substance. This means that melting ice into water can't be a chemical reaction. We call it a physical change instead. And they're sliding past each other and mingling. They're moving randomly. There's no fixed pattern. Because the molecules can change positions, water can easily rearrange its shape so it can flow. It can easily take the shape of its container. Can you describe two ways in which they're moving? They're moving from place to place. That's called translation. That's what you do when you walk across the room. The other way is rotation. That's what you do when you do a somersault or spin around. And there's a third way that isn't shown, like this. What word would you use to describe this way of moving? The atoms within the H2O molecule are moving backwards and forwards, so that's another kind of vibration.
And can you see that the H2O molecules are moving a bit faster in liquid water than in solid ice? Why is that? Steam is water in the form of a gas, and liquid water turns into gaseous water when we heat it to 100 degrees Celsius. Steam is actually invisible, like air, so we can't actually see it with our eyes. But by zooming in and using animation, we can visualise steam molecules. Notice how they're now much further apart than in the solid and liquid states. There's a lot of space between them. That's why gases have a changeable volume and are compressible. The molecules are moving in straight lines until they hit something like the wall of the container or each other. That's why they can change their shape and take up the whole space of the container. Let's get a bit closer. Again, see how they're still H2O molecules. By boiling water and turning it into a gas, we haven't broken any bonds or formed any new ones because no new substance has been made. Boiling water is also a physical change. So ice, water and steam are all just different states of the same substance, H2O. And there's another thing. They're going fast, really fast. Why is that? There seems to be a connection between the speed of the molecules of a substance and how hot it is. Ice is the coldest form of H2O, zero or below, and its molecules go quite slowly. Water is warmer, between zero and 100, and its molecules are faster. And steam is the hottest, 100 or above, with its molecules going the fastest. So as we heat something up, its molecules go faster. We can say that the molecules have more energy, and we call this kind of energy, due to its movement, kinetic energy. That would be a cool term to remember. So recapping, we can see that solids have both a fixed volume and a fixed shape. If we could see their molecules, they'd be closely packed together in a fixed, regular pattern and vibrating backwards and forwards relatively slowly. We can see that liquids have a fixed volume but a changeable shape. If we could see their molecules, they'd be close together, randomly mixing with each other, translating, rotating and vibrating, and moving faster than in solids. Gases have both a changeable volume and a changeable shape. Their molecules are a long way apart, randomly arranged, moving in straight lines until they collide, and moving faster than in both solids and liquids. Their type of movement is mostly translation.